The man accused of stabbing his estranged wife to death drops a bombshell about what happened the day his wife died. Good afternoon. I'm Meredith McDonough. And I'm Brett Conley. For the first time publicly, Dwayne White admitted he was at the parking lot where his wife was found murdered, but he said when he got there, she was already dead. White took the stand in his own defense as he stands trial for her murder. Last Tuesday, Dave McDaniel is live at the courthouse where White's testimony came as quite a shock. Dave. Well, Dwayne White told his attorneys this morning he wanted to put himself out there on the witness stand, facing a first degree murder charge, the possibility of the death penalty if convicted. He took the stand and said things here that he has never said before. Did you cut your wife's throat that morning, Mr. White? No, sir, I did not. Kill your wife? I did not. Dwayne White had been quiet all week, accused of stabbing Sarah Rucker to death back in August 2011. He testified he did go to the parking lot at I-4 and 434 that August morning, something he had never offered publicly before. What did you find when you got there? My wife's body. The state had used White's bloody palm print and cell phone technology to put him at the scene, saying he killed Sarah Rucker when she arrived to get the cell phone he took from her earlier. Now testifying he was only there after the killing led to the question about what he did next. But your wife's been killed. That's your wife, that's the mother of your children. You don't call the police. You didn't, did you? Sir. You left. Right? Yes, sir. Where'd you go? Uh, I went back home. Even then he said he never called police, saying he panicked. The state hammered at White for lying to police in the past about ever going to the murder scene. And that is all what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. And the state suggested his testimony was a way to shape previous testimony for the jury. That he took Sarah's phone away so he wouldn't get in trouble? Well, what do you think he's going to do on the witness stand when he's testifying in the case where he's charged with first degree premeditated murder? Closing arguments were held this afternoon. That was part of what the state had to say to the jury as they wrapped up its case. In the defense's closing argument, they said basically that they don't believe the state has enough evidence to send a man to prison or possibly to the death penalty for first-degree murder. They just simply said there isn't enough there. Now, the judge is instructing the jury on the law right now. They are expected to begin deliberations any moment. Reporting live at the Seminole County Courthouse, Dave McDaniel, Western News.